I think I have a lot of imagination and creativity. A friend of mine and I went to a restaurant. You know those Chinese cookies? He opened it and he said, Michelle, this is for you. Creativity and imagination characterize you. I'm Michel G. Bergeron, I'm a MND. I'm professor at Laval University and the founder of the Infectious Disease Research Center of Laval University. The current process to make a diagnosis is the culture of the clinical specimen. This takes two to three days. So the doctors give antibiotics. They don't wait for the results because infection has to be treated. So this leads to an overuse of antibiotics. Each time you have a new antibiotic, a few months or a few years later, there was antibiotic resistance because of the overuse of antibiotic. In 1985, I woke up with morning, I said, gee whiz, we need to accelerate the diagnosis of infectious disease by using DNA. Finally, I found the solution. Well, the solution was far from the solution, but it was a bloody good idea. So instead of cultivating the microbe, which has been going on for 140 years, I decided to develop less than one hour test to identify microbe using DNA. First, we needed to prepare the sample appropriately. Clean the sample, get rid of extra cells to extract the DNA. Second step, to ensure that we could detect with DNA any microbes. And in 1997, a new technology came, real-time PCR. We combined those three, and we were the first to demonstrate that you could identify microbes within less than one hour, 30 to 45 minutes for this test. Two years later, this test was approved by FDA. This was the moment. Yes, it put us on the map. It put us on the map. And by having a rapid results, you can really change the practice of medicine and save lives. So I've been married since 1968 and I have three children and uh, six grandchildren. Right now, at 72 years old, uh, I do rollerblade, uh, I do cross-country skiing, uh, I do a little bit of bike, I do a lot of swimming. I need to move, my body needs to move. So what's next? What's the future? We need point of care diagnostics. So instead of having the test done in the hospital laboratory, my second dream was to transform this technology into a completely automated system. Science is advancing at a rate unbelievable, and the future of Canada lies in, uh, in the knowledge economy. We need to push that. What I love about what I'm doing is we save thousands of lives every week or maybe every day. My dream came true. I had a good idea, and I think what characterized me is that people embark in my vision, in my dream. I'm infectious. I'm contagious, so be aware. <laughs>